High child death rates, short life expectancy. For most of human history, that was the universal experience. But starting two centuries ago, progress in the world's rich nations has brought a great divergence. In wealthy nations, scientific progress and improved public health and medical care have brought vastly improved health outcomes, and with them, economic prosperity and political stability. Citizens of poorer nations still face health challenges that threaten their economy, their stability, and their lives. But if we make the right investments today, that can all change, and it can change within one generation. Today, we have the technology and financial means to close the health gap between poorer and richer nations to achieve what we are calling a grand convergence in global health. We know that it is possible. We have seen it happen. In countries as diverse as Chile, China, and Bangladesh, smart and aggressive public health policies have raised the health status of their citizens in line with where the United States and Britain were in 1980. So how can it be done? We must provide every child, woman, and man with access to the powerful medicines, vaccines, and other tools we have to fight infectious diseases and prevent maternal and child deaths. Governments of low and middle income countries must invest in health. Just 1% of their economic growth over the next two decades would fund the grand convergence. The global community must do its part to help the poorest nations. And the global community must spearhead the search for new and better vaccines, diagnostics, and drugs. 30 years ago, AIDS was a death sentence. Then, we developed life-saving drugs that now reach millions of people across the globe. Today, we stand on the brink of an even greater opportunity. In one generation, we can help more mothers hear their baby's first cry. In one generation, we can help more one-year-olds become five-year-olds. In one generation, we can vastly improve the lives of every person on this planet. We can afford it. We know how to do it. The question is, will we accept the challenge?